again here. I just took a shower. My hair's a mess. Mr. Lucas came over and we got two of the chickens and he's got them over there. I forgot my phone, so I ran back to get my phone. We're going to see how two of the little birds do with the rooster. I hope it doesn't go bad. <laughs> well, that did not go well. Um, before I could even get back with my phone, Mr. Lucas and Lena had already decided that the two little chicks, one barred rock, one Asian black, had had enough. The rooster basically went after them, and I tried to explain, well, that's going to happen, blah, 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 um, until they get used to each other. So we brought the chicks back home. We're going to wait until they're, you know, bigger. They, they really do need to be full grown because that's a big old rooster. Anyhow, so hopefully tomorrow I can help Mr. Lucas get started building his chicken run. He's going to build a chicken run and do a little door on the outside of his current coop so they can get in and out. So I hope he'll let me help him with that because that would be a lot of fun. Oh, and also let me show you what he gave me. First of all, earlier this morning he came with this in his hand, a pawpaw mushroom from his property. I've been really, really hoping I could find one more. And that looks like an indigo milky. Um, I found this on his property, but it's not blue on the underside, so I need to make sure. Come on, focus. I need to make sure that it is actually that so I can eat it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna eat up that puffball tonight with dinner. But look, he's got a ton of cedar wood. And I split one of the logs myself. He's got this big axe, and he split the others, so I get to light this up in the wood-burning stove. I am so blessed. Oh, oh, and somebody suggested I get some pine cones. Yep, so I started gathering pine cones. I did want to go over something real quick with you guys, and that is the treatment of poison ivy, poison oak, or sumac. I had shown in a video the other day where I had poison ivy on my right arm and it's actually on the left arm as well and on my sides. I'm beginning to think that maybe Judy got into some and when we snuggled I just ended up getting it all over me. Anyway, somebody had posted a comment that I should use Benadryl cream as opposed to calamine lotion and I just have to tell you that that is actually incorrect. So I'm going to show you a few well, bookmarks from websites that I went to, and I'll leave the links down below as well so that you can kind of see, well, everybody basically says, except for the Benadryl website itself, that you should, use, you should not use topical antihistamines such as Benadryl because it can make the rash worse. So let's read these. The first clip is from the American Academy of Dermatology, and pretty much all the websites suggest doing the same thing. Wash the area, take short lukewarm baths, use calamine lotion or hydrocortisone cream, apply cool compresses to the itchy skin, but overwhelmingly they all say, except for the Benadryl website, uh, consider taking antihistamine pills. You should not apply an antihistamine to your skin as doing Doing so can worsen the rash and the itch. Same thing from poison.org. And scroll down to the bottom. It says, do not apply an antihistamine cream or lotion to your skin. This may actually worsen the rash. So you really got to be careful what you read about, what you hear about on the internet. Do your own research. And, of course, this little video here is not an exhaustive you know, resource. But I'm just telling you that... The antihistamine cre creams, in particular, Benadryl or diphenhydramine, you don't want to use. Here's another one from WebMD. Um, these are the things you should not use. Antihistamine cream, which is diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl, should not use it. Anesthetic creams with benzocaine. And antibiotic creams with neomycin or bacitracin. You shouldn't use any of those. And I've heard people suggest all of those. So you have to be really, really careful because you certainly don't want to make the rash worse. I mean, it is actually painful for me. It's been making me crazy. And here's another one from Healthline. Um, they suggest oral antihistamines and whatnot. Um, they talk about, you know, the different kinds you can get. But if you go to the bottom, it says don't apply an antihistamine cream to your rash, though. It can actually make the itching worse. So don't always believe everything you read or hear on the internet. Just do your own research. Go to reputable sources. And you know what? Talk to your doctor. Your doctor will be able to tell you 
what is going to be the best treatment for your rash. All I can say is mine is absolutely killing me. I mean, it's it's hard to get to sleep. It is just absolutely, I hate it. But it's starting to get a little bit better. So I just wanted to share that with you because I want you all to be safe. Look at my hair. <laughs> it looks terrible. But I just washed it and this is what it looks like after I wash it. Anyhow, uh, I had a bunch of visitors today, uh, one after the other, so I didn't get anything done, really, to be honest. Did I get anything done? I don't think so. I just visited, gave people a tour of my uh, tiny house. Hi, Don and Andy. And uh, kind of just chilled out. So this is going to be a very, very short video. Uh, later tonight, I'm going to fire up my wood-burning stove, and I'm going to use a couple of those cedar logs that Mr. Lucas cut for me, and I'm going to cook some dirty rice and maybe some beans. I don't know. Maybe just dirty rice. Yeah. And I got some sausage. I got one uh, red Marconi, but it's not red yet. It's green. And I got a bunch of cayenne. I'm going to chop that up and put it in it. And just have some delicious dinner and basically just kind of call it a day. So sorry for the short video. I'll see ya. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Look at Miss Judy being such a good girl. She's out there just watching those chickens. I think before I sign off, I need to show you the chickens. Just a little bit of chicken footage. Chicken TV. Hi, pretty girls. You just come out to greet me. I got them all in the yard. Before too long, they'll go up into the coop. They're getting so big. And the two that I took to Mr. Lucas are none the worse for wear. It was one of these rocks. Don't know which one. And I think it was that big black Asian over there. And they're all just fine. Mr. Lucas was a little bit worried today. Oh, look at, look at, she's just kind of laying down there. Gosh, wouldn't it be great if they started laying eggs soon? Chicken, what you doing? Look at you fluffing yourself up. <laughs> they get so much free food. Tomorrow I'm going to let the little girls free range again. Little girls, oh my gosh, they're getting so big. They really are getting big. I just can't believe it. Yep. I could do this every day for the rest of my life, just raise chickens. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a big, huge flock of them someday. Get a rooster. i got to get a rooster. So I'm looking for a rooster. I don't know. Maybe I don't need a rooster until spring, honestly. I just love the sounds of nature, just sitting out here. Relaxing. It is a beautiful life. Yes, indeed. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.